uh, receptor part of the the disease called the cholera. Um, we touch on this a little bit. Okay, so this is a uh, one mechanism uh, that can happen in the, sec the in the signaling pathway. So this process is called a phosphorylation. Phosphorylation, and if you remember, um, phosphorylation adds a phosphate group to a molecule. Okay, so this process is catalyzed by a group of enzymes called the kinases. Kinases. So kinases will add phosphate group to a molecule. Okay, so they like to add. All right. So over here, you can see that. Okay. Now phosphorylation usually happens to three amino acids: serine, uh, threonine, and tyrosine. Okay. Now, when those amino acids are phosphorylated, they are going to change their shape, and this will activate, usually activate or deactivate a protein. But most of the times, the phosphorylation will activate the protein. Okay. Um, some nucleotides may also be phosphorylated. Uh, so remember, GDP can be phosphorylated, and it will become GTP. Remember, GDP times GTP or ADP can be phosphorylated and that will become ATP. Okay, so this concept is important because when we talk about enzyme-linked um, cell surface receptor, we actually use that concept of phosphorylation. So remember the, the, this is the enzyme portion, right, of the receptor, and then you have uh, tyrosine amino acids in that enzyme because most of the enzymes are, pro are, are proteins, right? And the proteins are made of amino acids. So there are tyrosine residues in the enzyme portion of the, the protein receptor. So uh, when you activate the enzyme, that means the enzymes are phosphorylated at the tyrosine residues, okay? So the phosphorylation activates the enzyme, which can activate the downstream enzymes. All right, so it's a pretty important mechanism in the, the signaling transduction pathway. Okay, now uh, second messengers. So they're called the second messengers because they're not the initial ligand. Okay? So usually the binding of ligands and cell surface receptors will trigger a series of a response. And during that process, it may activate a second messenger, okay? So that's why we call them second messengers. They're not the initial messenger. And usually these second messengers are small non-protein molecules, and then they are used to transmit a signal within the cell. So it's almost like a relay race, right? The, the second um, person is gonna, you know, receive the signal and it's gonna, you know, pass it on. So some examples of second passengers are calcium ions. If you remember calcium ions, we had that in the first test. Uh, cyclic AMP. Um, so a lot of times we just write it out as CAMP. Okay. So if you remember ADP, ATP, now the M stands for mono. So you only have one phosphate group. Okay. So these two, calcium ion and the CAMP, these are common second messengers. So these second messengers can relay the information. And a lot of times they can kind of amplify the information so that you don't need too many ligands to elic elicit uh, a response. Okay. All right, uh, we mentioned this a little bit. Uh, many pathways influence the cell by initiating gene expression. Okay, so again, gene expression is the process from DNA to the proteins that they code. And the proteins are the actual workers in our cells, right? So what, I, what kind of proteins you have determine um, your appearance, your different traits, like your hair color, your eye color, you know, um, can you jump really high? You know, things like that, okay? So uh, again, remember DNA has the blueprint and that blueprint is used for making proteins, okay? Now, some pathways um, active, activate enzymes that interact with the DNA transcription, okay? So those things can kind of regulate uh, transcription from DNA to messenger RNA. And that will, again, if, uh, that's one step of the gene expression, okay? Uh, and then other pathways can modify proteins, uh, induce them to change their locations in the cell. So that will kind of uh, modify their functions. Okay. Um, all right, so you know what an inhibitor means. So I'm going to skip that. 
Um, all right, this is about the cellular metabolism and the growth because it, usually this is um, controlled or regulated by the signaling pathways. Okay, um, so we are going to focus on cell growth because cell growth is related to cancer, right? And then um, we know a lot of people have cancer now, so it's kind of like a um, pretty hot topic. So what is cancer? Uncontrolled cell growth. So basically you have these monster cells that don't die and then they just keep dividing, um, grow, making new cancer cells. Okay. Um, a lot of times the uh, cancer cells, you know, the, why they become cancer cells is because they have mutations in their genes, all right? So um, these mutations can affect the signaling pathways, okay, which make those cells immortal and they just keep dividing, 